Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and people today we're gonna start off uh, with the jQuery UI animate method. Uh, in fact I would like to straight away start off with a preview, a browser preview. So this is my local site folder and let me open up uh, this file color animation.html Okay, just coming up. People uh, have a look out here the background color as well as the color of the text actually changes over time. Right. So uh, this was accomplished through the animate method of the jQuery UI. Now what is jQuery UI? How is it different from jQuery? jQuery UI is a curated set of user interface interactions, uh, effects, widgets and themes built on top of the jQuery JavaScript library right uh, I've used an external uh, JS file that's connected to the main color animation HTML file right this file has got nothing to do with uh, our example let me push it into the exam you know the images folder and this folder uh, as well the images folder has got nothing to do with uh, this tutorial uh, which is confined to just these uh, two files. This is the HTML CSS document and this is the externally kept uh, JavaScript file which I'm gonna demolish and I'm gonna recreate it from scratch. Um, okay now momentarily let me uh, take you to the HTML document as uh, you can see out here there's not uh, too much to it. It's not too lengthy and uh, it's connected to this file, to this file, to this file as well as to the externally kept coloranimation.js file and again uh, as you can uh, pretty much see pretty short file now you couldn't see uh, you, uh, you know jQuery ul.css uh, or this file or this file in the local uh, site folder uh, my local folder that's simply because I'm using CDNs or content uh, delivery networks what is a CDN? Using a CDN can uh, help pages load faster and reduce the uh, strain on your web server by keeping it at a remote location basically by offloading the jQuery files to an external server. So it's pulling uh, up all the information from an external source or an external server. That's what is a CDN, Content Delivery Network. Okay. Uh, I think it'll be great if I show you everything from scratch. Uh, It'll not be wrong if I actually completely do away with the HTML document as well as the uh, JS file. Let me just push it into this uh, images folder. Let's start, uh, you know, getting everything from scratch. Let me close up these files too. Let me do everything from scratch. All right. Uh, let me just change the doc type to HTML5. Keeps, uh, you know, everything just clean and neat and uh, let me save the document up just let me call it animate method right oh let me give it a title to animate okay let's save it up again let's open up uh, a new JavaScript document and let's call it any let's give it the same name animate method but that'll be dot js with the dot js extension cool now let's say save all, all let me get back to the animate method dot html document and now this step is uh, important and very easy too just after the title tag hit enter and let's bring in the uh, cdn links Okay, give me a second. I'm gonna copy and paste it out here like this. Basically, uh, as I said, uh, these files are actually kept externally on a different, uh, you know, remote web server. And uh, these are the files in question. You have a CSS file and a JS file, and yet another JS file. This is the jQuery 1.9.1 JS file. And this is the JS UI, your jQuery UI file with the JS extension. So these are the three CDNs kept remotely on a external server. 
offloaded to an external server right uh, after uh, I've connected to the uh, CDNs uh, connected to the remote server through the CDNs I also need to connect this document to the animate method .js file and that's gonna be pretty simple too I'm gonna use the opening script tag the type attribute uh, setting it to text JavaScript and the source I'm gonna set it to animate method the file that I just created let me close the script tag like this click the refresh button say save all alright okay now let's come out here and insert something between the body tags I would want to insert a div okay so let's uh, say opening div tag with the ID uh, let's say mm, colors alright I'm yet to define the uh, you know in fact instead of ID let's go with class colors let me define the class now okay so let's click on uh, the word colors click on this plus button that will pop up this dialog box the selector type automatically will be set to uh, class and uh, this name dot colors will auto populate for the time being for this example I'm gonna confine to this document only right although it's a good habit to keep uh, even your CSS files externally let's say okay let's define uh, this class let's keep the width 400 the height 400 as well and let's go to the background color and say I would want a background color of lavender let's say OK let's go to the split view let's say save all and uh, I'm sure you can see this div with the uh, with the uh, this division with the background color lavender the size 400 pixels each anyways let me switch back to the code view <coughs> excuse me let me add uh, some text out here so some text goes here and some more text goes here too okay let's copy up this bit okay there's a typo out here doesn't really matter let me still correct it let me copy up this bit let me paste it several times okay and let's take up a publish uh, or a browser preview so this is the way things look like right now let me come off the publish preview or the browser preview and next up people what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all the text out here like so I'm gonna change it to an H4 and uh, also I'm gonna go back out here where it says the the class is colors I'm gonna add some padding let me add a padding of 10 px2 just making things a little neater let's take up a preview in Google Chrome okay so this is the way things stand uh, right now okay I'm good to uh, start coding now I can go to the animate method dot external JS file and start coding also people notice that since we have used CDNs the source code of the uh, HTML document is now connected with the jQuery UI dot CSS jQuery 1.9.1 JS file not the minified version and jQuery US uh, UI dot JS file mm, all these files are now connected along with the animate method dot JS file that's a, that, that is something that I'm gonna uh, code out now so let's start coding so let's begin with the dollar sign and the keyword document right so when the document is actually ready pretty much means that uh, when uh, the DOM is initialized the DOM has initialized and all the uh, elements are accessible and ready to be manipulated let's do something okay let's say save again let's do what again use the dollar sign people let's target the div with the ID colors so that's that's pretty easy 
just use uh, colors out here in between the quotation marks so basically targeting the element which has the class colors let's in fact be more specific let's say div out here so div with the uh, class colors let's target that and dot now before I do anything I would want to push in a delay of 1000 milliseconds or one second all right then I'm going to use the animate method and the property that I would want to animate is the background color as well as the color and the right way to do it is that you insert um, two curly braces inside the opening closing uh, parent parents all right let's get the syntax uh, correct so that uh, later on uh, there are no problems so let's go with the a pair of uh, inverted quotation marks put a colon out here and a set of inverted quotation marks uh, again all right put a comma and then let's repeat the same process so inverted quotation marks a colon inverted quotation marks all right put a comma out here and say 3000 now that that 3000 is uh, the time duration in which I would want the uh, the um, animation to happen and then I would want the easing to happen too I'm going with the linear easing instead of the swing which is the default easing swing means slow fast and then slow linear means oh, at the same pace uh, the easing should happen all right so let's let's not go with the default let's uh, try something different so inside the quotation marks I'm gonna go with linear okay so and now I, I'm gonna come out here and I'm gonna use the background color property okay I'm, I'm gonna set it to um, let's set it to a pound sign F F E 4 C 4 all right uh, so that'll change the background color from a lavender to a different color all right and at the same time I would want to change the color property too for the text and uh, let me set it to uh, a52 the a52 a to a all right and obviously I need to put a hash sign out here alright so through the animate method I am not only changing the background color but I'm also affecting the text color and uh, this is the color that the new color okay and this is the new background color okay and I would want it to happen over uh, 3000 milliseconds or 3 seconds and uh, I don't want the uh, default uh, easing to happen which is swing uh, which is slow fast and then slow rather I would want it to go at the same pace that's linear okay now I'm gonna use the delay method once again so before you know uh, before and after the color changes I'm actually inserting the delay method through which I'm inserting a delay of 1000 milliseconds so basically you see people I'm uh, chaining multiple methods which is absolutely fine and then I'm gonna bring in uh, animate once again so I'm not gonna do all the hard word work again uh, let me just uh, copy up this bit and let me come out here and paste it out here so a uh, control C and a control V now all I need to do is uh, I can come out here and just change the uh, background color to a different color so let me go with 333 three, three, which is a very dark gray color a very pleasing color actually and as far as the text color is concerned let me go with the FF 99 FF that's a, a pinkish kind of a color alright I would want the animation to happen over three seconds again that's absolutely alright I don't want to alter the easing I would want to keep it linear itself that's uh, great too alright let's end it with the semicolon out here everything is just fine there are no syntax errors let's uh, so basically people what I've done is I'm, I'm targeting the div with the uh, class colors that's just one div on the page with the class colors okay I'm using the delay method setting in a delay of uh, one second before the animation actually happens which is gonna change the background color as well as the text color and uh, 
I'm applying a, a delay once again. Let's make it 1000, not 100. And animating the background color and the color again over three seconds. The easing is linear. <coughs> Alrighty. Okay. I can pass in one more uh, callback function out here if I actually want it, which I really don't. People, when you chain the animate method like this, the way that I've done using a period, it is in a queue. And uh, unless and until the first queue is uh, executed, the second will not. Okay, so first this background color and color will be affected, and then this uh, it goes in a queue in a linear fashion. All right, people. So let's say save all and let's take up a publish preview in Google Chrome. This time, just coming up. Okay. So people notice the background colors and the, the foreground colors change over time, which is punctuated with the delay method, which is setting in a delay of one second before and after the background color and the color changes. All right, people, it is so very easy to use the jQuery UI uh, CDNs along, uh, you know, with the animate method to get uh, this kind of a cool effect. Okay, uh, people notice out here. Uh, in this animate method uh, .js file, I've not used any uh, event uh, handler, something like a click or a mouse server, uh, but feel free to do that too, right? Uh, in our example, it fires uh, immediately after the DOM has initialized and uh, the document is actually ready. Okay, so people, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, I'll also hope that you'll keep coming back for more. Uh, before I terminate the tutorial, let me tell you that I'll be um, giving away the CDNs, uh, the HTML, CSS document, along with the uh, animate method.js file bundled in a zipped format. Uh, you can download it from there. The, uh, the link is http colon forward slash forward slash quality lessons dot net forward slash downloads one dot html. I'll be leaving the link in the description. You have a good day. Bye bye. Peace.